Why is germicidal UV good in swimming pools? Well, the, for me, the reason I like this is very simple. So chlorine, it has a host of benefits. It's an algicide, it's an oxidizer, it's a sanitizer. It has the ability to build and hold a residual in the water. All of that stuff is great. And it can and will kill all of the stuff which is dangerous to you, the swimmer, in the pool. But there's a couple of caveats to that, and here's two of them. Here, if there's like, you know, a, a, an Achilles heel to this chlorine, what is it? Two things come to mind. So one is that you're going to build up chloramines, or like used chlorine. The chlorine's in there, it's free chlorine, but then it does its thing in the water, oxidizing, sanitizing, but it, now it's, it's used up, it's spent chlorine, and it lives as a chloramine in the pool, and you gotta do something about that. And normally doing something about that involves adding an excess amount of chlorine or superchlorination or breakpoint chlorination to get rid of the, this chloramine buildup. That's something you have to do regularly with swimming pools. The other Achilles heel that I'll mention here is cryptosporidium in particular is something that chlorine just doesn't do a great job with. It can kill cryptosporidium, but it's I've heard it described as like the cryptosporidium lives inside of a basketball and the chlorine it, it can't get through that tough outer skin of the basketball and it takes a really long time and a pretty darn high level of chlorine to eventually eat through that outer layer get to that cryptosporidium in, inside and deal with it so that's the two main things that I would say are the you know the the Achilles heel or the weak point for chlorine in pools otherwise chlorine is the best thing going in swimming pools so here's why I like germicidal UV. UV complements the chlorine quite well in that it will remove the combined chlorine. It will reduce the chloramines in the water without having to do breakpoint chlorination. So you're going to be reducing on the total amount of chlorine that you use, not like day by day, but if you look at on the yearly total, you're going to be using vastly less chlorine because you're not going to be doing regular breakpoint chlorination. Further to that, let's pretend this is a high-risk environment. Let's say this is like a children's splash pad or a, a therapy, a warm water therapy home in, or a warm water therapy pool in a home for seniors. How about that environment? Well, I mean, we probably want to be pretty careful about things, you know, like that could be harmful to those with compromised immune systems. And while we could blast the heck out of the water with chlorine, which is what a lot of facilities would be doing in this, Boy, it would be nice to have something like germicidal UV, which is going to be doing a lot of this heavy lifting that normally would require excess amounts of chlorine. So you use the germicidal UV, it complements the chlorine, it helps reduce on the likelihood of a cryptosporidium problem. It also reduces on the amount of chlorine that you need to add to perform the function of breakpoint chlorination and reduce the chloramines from spent chlorine in the water. All in all a win, it's a passive device, it bolts on, it does its thing, it doesn't use a lot of power, it doesn't take a lot of upkeep. Once every couple of years you have to replace the, the bulb in it, that's pretty much it. I think that's a win and I do recommend that for pretty much any swimming pool where you're trying to achieve things like less chemicals or less chlorine usage or a higher quality of water, something that is uh, just a better overall healthier level. Maybe you're concerned about, you know, somebody who's going to be swimming in the pool who doesn't have, uh, you know, a, a properly working immune system. You want to take every step you can and explore alter alternative options to supplement the chlorine and reduce on the total chlorine, but also make the water safer. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.